What's up everyone, I'm James the Tie Guy, and today we have three new Big Fix characters to take a look at. These are all from the new upcoming Han Solo movie, and it of course is young Han Solo, uh, Chewbacca, and the Mud Trooper. All are available right now on Amazon for $19.99. The Mud Trooper is on a slight back order, but you can still order him and he'll ship when available. Uh, the Mud Trooper and the Han character are 18 inches tall, Chewie is 20 inches tall, and all have 7 points of articulation. Uh, the scale isn't quite right on them as you can see, but I guess that's to be expected when you're talking about characters this size at this price point. Um, Chewie should be taller um, in comparison to the other characters, but he's still a very solid figure as I'll get into some more detail. And overall, I don't think you can beat these guys for the price. Um, we'll take a look first of all at the Mud Trooper. Um, he's easily my favorite in the bunch. He's a really nice figure for the money. Um, um, they really did some details on this that they didn't quite have to do, and he would have still been worth the money, but I'm glad that they did. Um, being The first being the soft goods cape. It's two-tiered, just like the Midband Stormtrooper Black Series figure that I uh, had a video about, and it also has a hood, uh, which can go up and over his helmet. Um, I like the Mud Trooper character a lot just because he reminds me of like a General Veer's character with some extra accessories. Uh, the body armor here, if you notice the insignia on his arm here, the patch or um, band that he's wearing is similar to the Shore Trooper commander, so I'm assuming this is some type of officer in the Mud Trooper Corps. Uh, if you notice from the trailers, Han Solo appears to be a Mud Trooper um, before he defects from the Empire. So I thought that was uh, interesting. I'm really anxious to see the movie and how that plays into it. Um, he has uh, the helmet here with goggles down. His breather, which if you notice here, the tubes connect into the back. Right here, the two tubes go into this back unit, which I'm assuming is some sort of breathing and filtration device for the environment they work in. The soft goods um, comma extends back to here. He has uh, on his feet, he has armor, like a shin guard type armor on there. Uh, the only accessory he comes with is his blaster. This is a variant of the E11D uh, that we see the shore troopers carry. It's not quite the same, but it does have the same stock. I'm not sure what the exact model on it is, but um, I'm sure we'll find out soon. I have the uh, encyclopedia or the visual dictionary pre-ordered for the day the movie comes out, which I'm sure we'll get more detail about it. It does have a, quite an extended gas cartridge on it, if you look at, uh, on the side there. It is a well put together piece. Uh, it actually has, you can see these screws in it holding it together because it's actually a two part gun. I'll, we can get it to focus there. So it's, and it does, it is removable of course. You take a look at it there in relation to my hand and it's actually a, a really a large weapon so as accessories go it's it's a nice one i like it a lot uh, he looks really good holding it very easy to hold it he has one trigger finger on his right hand and like we were mentioning seven points of articulation so that means that you've got his head uh, that moves ever so slightly not a whole lot and then his feet, I mean his legs rather, move up and down. His hands uh, twist 360 degrees. And then of course his arms have that one direction. These figures, um, it's kind of funny that the seven points of articulation is even more than, than the 799 figures from Hasbro have, which are much smaller. So I'm happy with the seven points on it. A figure of this size at this price I wouldn't expect anything more so we'll set him there and like I said easily my favorite and judging by the sales on Amazon him being the one that's on back order I think others feel the same way uh, but he looks really great uh, in a display I actually ordered more, two of him one to unbox for this and then one to keep boxed along with all the other big figs I have uh, the next is my second favorite and that's Chewie this character, or this figure I should say, is a monster. It is absolutely solid as can be. Um, I weighed it and it comes in at three pounds. 
the other characters are a pound and a half. So he's double their size, but he's not, I mean, double their weight, but not double the size. That tells you something. So this guy is every bit of the $20 that he costs, I have to say. The only disappointment I have in him is it looks like Jax decided to axe the weapon that he was going to come with. I'm not sure if that was because production costs got high, because he's a larger figure and they're charging the same price. He was supposed to come with the blaster that he's featured with in his Black Series figure. Uh, it, the one that shoots these grenade type canisters. And you can even see that that was the intention, I'm sure, because they gave him a prominent um, trigger finger on his right hand. So he was meant to have a weapon and the promo pictures of him on Amazon and, and from the website have him with one. So he's getting some bad reviews on there and it's all mostly because he don't have his weapon. And I have to agree, he really needs something to hold in his hand. This ex bandolier is counted as an accessory on the box and I guess it is to an extent. You know, it is nice. It's uh, removable like the first Chewbacca from this series it was. Of course, this is a double bandolier and it's a, you know, a little bit more substantial, but I would be will willing to have spent a few more dollars if it would have meant him including his, uh, his blaster accessory. Uh, his feet are pretty detailed there, more detailed than the last uh, figure from this line. Somebody did ask me on my uh, uh, Facebook page if this was a new sculpt from the previous one, and it is. Uh, it's actually better. The paint is better on it. The sculpt is better. Um, the face, he actually has some of his teeth showing. On the other one, he didn't. His eyes, if, um, we, if we can oops, get the camera to focus in there. His eyes um, have really good paint. You can actually make out the whites, and then the pupil in the middle, and then the blue color. So really excellent detail on a figure at, uh, of this price and for this size. Again, like the Mud Trooper, he's got seven points of articulation being his hands and his legs. His legs being so big, they do, um, I'll show you here, they do go up, but they kind of spread out a lot and look a little bit funny. But the articulation is there nonetheless. The paint, like I said um, a minute ago on this, is better. It um, is, does a much better job of showing Chewie's different um, colors and shades of brown, I guess you could call it, on him. He is a little bit of a younger Wookiee in this movie, so he has less gray than he does in later movies. And that shows through on this figure. It's just more of a dark brown color in places instead of full gray. He's a really nice figure. Um, I was just surprised when I picked him up. The box that he came in was quite a bit bigger than the other two, and when I felt it, I thought there was something else in there I ordered and didn't remember. But it was just him. It's just the fact that it's, he weighs so much more. And I'm not really sure why, if they just did that be, to make him more sturdy or what, but uh, he really does weigh twice as what the others do, coming in at a, right at three pounds. Uh, he's got this joint here, but it's not, um, he doesn't articulate there or anything. It's just where I think his assembly was into two pieces, his upper half and bottom half. His head moves a little bit, not a lot, but that's pretty much par for the course with Chewy figures because of all the fur sculpt. So we'll set him there, and then we get to the last character, which... I like Han Solo. Um, I'm fine with Alden Ehrenreich playing him. I have no problems with that or anything. This is just my least favorite just because it, um, well, it's the simplest and it's the least well done. It's not bad, but it's not great either. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, the gun is great. I'll get to that in a minute. His DL-44. The features on his outfit are fine. His pilot pants, uh, his accessory belt here goes um, all the way around to the back. The screw holes on him are a lot more prominent than on uh, the other figures. So that's something I counted off for him. Um, his boots there, you know, nothing wrong with those. But that's all fine. His holster and his gun, it fits in there, not super securely. Um, it will fall out like that if you tilt him upside down. It doesn't lock into place. But it's not a big deal. Um, his face 
his eyebrows, if you ask me, they're a little bit too thick. Um, they, they look like they got painted on there with just a little bit too thick of an application. If I can get the camera to focus on him here. And to me, every time I look at him, all I can see is the actor Chris Pine, which of course is Captain Kirk from Star Trek, the new series, or the new movies. Um, <clears throat> it's a little bit more obvious in person. But he looks a lot more like Chris Pine than he does the guy that's playing Solo in the new movie. Uh, his gun, we'll take a look at it while we got him here. Really like it. They did a good job on it. The DL-44, famous, of course. Everyone knows this weapon. The grip, they painted brown, faithful to the movie. The barrel is, you know, it's not fully, uh, it's hollowed out, some on there, so that's nice. The scope is there. It's just not, not nice details on it. All these figures have nice weapons. Uh, better than the the ones that Hasbro makes. You know, all this on a character that costs less than 20 bucks is really hard to beat. So if we um, have him holding it here, there's a trigger finger, of course, on the right hand like the others. And he holds it nicely. Let's see if we can get his legs to... Over there. He's a little bit harder to balance than the others, but he does balance fine once you get him in place. So I'll turn him around there. So he's not a terrible figure or anything, you know, don't get me wrong, but compared to the other two, he's just not as, as good, especially compared to the Mud Trooper. So that's what puts him as my least favorite out of all these, but still I think he, he complements the others, especially Chewie fine. Cause you know, Han and Chewie are, are pretty much inseparable. So if you got one, you really need to have the other. And so when you put his arm down and he's holding it there, has a real nice stance, like he's ready to, ready to go and do whatever type of heist or smuggling run they're up to next. Uh, the bandolier on Chewie is a little bit loose fitting, I noticed. I thought it was just how it was in the packaging, but I tried to get it to fit a little better. It's just a little on the loose side, but uh, it is slightly adjustable. So you can get it to kind of go in place, and if you don't move him around a lot, it should stay that way. So that's the three. Um, as far as I know right now, that's all that Jax has released for the solo movie. I'm guessing there will be more. I really would like to see a range trooper come out in this line, especially if they do the soft goods on the fur collar. The Membon trooper would be nice too. I'm not sure if that's in the works, but if it is, um, I'll make sure and get, get a hold of those and do another review in pictures. Um, I have a full photo gallery of these guys, 36 pictures in total, and I'll link the Flickr account down below where you can find those. And of course, they're on my Facebook page as well. Um, if you have any questions, do feel free to ask, uh, either in a comment or on my Facebook page. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up if you would. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because I have uh, some new figures on the way and some here that I haven't got a chance to review yet, but they are coming up. Uh, one being the uh, Gamerian Guard Black Series, the Target Exclusive. That should be coming next week, and I'll have a photo gallery up and then the next day a review video. So. If you want to subscribe and uh, hit that bell icon to be notified, that would help me out a lot as I'm trying to grow the channel and get more things for you guys to take a look at uh, before they come out if possible. So again, thank you, and I hope all of you have a great week, and may the Force be with you.